Planning is an integral part of monitoring interventions in health or any other similar setting. And tracking actions and activities with your plans shouldn't be difficult. With the Action Tracker apps, you and your team can keep track of specific actions in DHIS2 with ease. There are two different Action Tracker applications in DHIS2 that you can use, the BNA Action Tracker and the Standalone Action Tracker. The Standalone Action Tracker can be used for tracking any action, whilst the BNA Tracker is specifically designed for the Bottleneck Analysis app. Let's take a look at how the BNA Action Tracker works. You can download the Action Tracker from the App Hub, and once it's installed, you'll be able to access it straight from the search menu in DHIS2. Once you've opened the BNA Action Tracker from the application menu, you'll see the dashboard. Once set, you'll first see the action planning table. And here you can see actions that are directly pulled from your root cause analysis in the BNA app on the left, with actions set on the right. So on the first row, we can see the results of the bottleneck analysis for the DPT3 immunization in this particular district. Here, the availability of trained human resources has been identified as a priority bottleneck for action and follow-up. During the analysis, it's been discovered that the district's health workers had not received training in the latest best practice guidelines for treatment, and staff have large caseloads resulting in a high turnover. The Action Tracker app allows us to follow this up with suggested actions. We can see the action description, start and end date, and then the person to whom the action is assigned, along with any budgetary amounts and targets. The action description can be expanded by clicking on the text. So here we can see that a possible solution is to consider the use of e-learning to deliver training on demand and at a low cost. There are then numerous action descriptions to follow up on. These have then been assigned to different people to follow up and take action on. You can add more actions to suggested solutions by clicking the plus button on the right, filling all of the different sections out. If you just want to view the planned actions, you can click on the Action Tracking tab. You can also download the planned actions in different formats, like CSV, allowing you to share your actions outside of DHIS2. But what if there are other situations where you want to keep track of action plans developed without using bottleneck analysis? Then you can use the standalone action tracker. With similar functionality, you can keep a track of the implementation of actions you and your team are working on. And that's the action tracker apps. Use them to keep on top of your actions and share your progress with your team.